Safely recovering after unexpected faults or planet drops can be beneficial for quadruped robots in both navigating harsh environments and preventing significant damage. Large horizontal velocity that may appear when the robot executes a jump without stopping its motion further complicates the landing task. The proposed reactive landing controller addresses the problem of landing employing only proprioceptive measures. Knowing neither the distance to the landing surface nor the flight time, landings can be successfully achieved by avoiding bounces after the touchdown, preventing both the collision of the trunk with the ground and feet slippage, eventually driving the robot to a stable standing stage. During the flight phase, the framework continuously recomputes the optimal virtual foot location, shifting the limbs accordingly. Once the touchdown is detected, the last computed trajectory is taken as reference and tracked with a whole body controller. We compare all landing controller with a naive approach that doesn't adapt the virtual foot location to the horizontal velocity, but it tracks the height reference up to the touchdown. From the examples, it is clear that the modulation of the virtual foot is crucial to achieve a successful landing. Even if the template model doesn't describe the angular dynamics, our strategy is robust enough to drive the robot to a stable configuration for a large range of initial angular velocities and orientations. Our landing controller was also broadly benchmarked with the 12 kg torque controlled robot Go1. We dropped the quadruped from various heights with a manually induced horizontal velocity in forward, backward, left and right direction. The experiment proved that all landing controller can achieve successful landings employing only proprioceptive measures without knowing the absolute position of the robot when it falls.